Hello and welcome to my tutorial on the Exosuit, which is a modifiable and customizable armor set from the Tinker's, mod, Tinker's Construct mod. And today I'm going to be explaining how to craft it as well as how to modify it. So let's get started, shall we? Now, first thing you're going to want to do is make a lot of bronze. And by a lot of bronze, I mean 192 ingots worth of bronze because you're going to need to take all that bronze, put it in this meltery, and pour it all out into 24 total large bronze plates, just like this. And you're going to take these plates, you're going to take a lot of these plates, and you're going to use these to craft the armor itself. Now the way it works, it you craft it just like you would iron armor or diamond armor in a crafting table just like this but it just takes the plates instead of normal ingots which is why you need just so many of them so I don't know why I made two of those but yeah you can use uh, the place to make the chest piece the pants and the boots here we go and there you go those are all four pieces and you can equip them and here we go but unfortunately as nice as this looks a bit simple but let me change game mode so you can see as you can see it adds absolutely no armor whatsoever it has no inherent value or any abilities on it unless you upgrade it now the way you upgrade it is you take a tool forge and you can cr find out how to craft a tool forge out of the uh, Tinker's Construct books but yeah you take a tool forge and a crafting station which is just a normal crafting table that you craft one more time and you put it down right next to the tool forge and it becomes a tinker table now you can take parts any of the four pieces the boots the legs the chest the held and you can add certain modifiers to them. Now each piece starts with 30 modifier slots and each type of modification will eat into those modification slots such as gold. Gold adds knockback resistance and each bar, each bar of gold will add 1% knockback resistance and each bar will eat into two modification slots so as you can see one bar leaves you with 28, 28 slots left and adds one percent now you can use blocks of gold and it will take up ten leave you with ten more giving you ten percent and you can fill in the rest with single ingots to give you a total of fifteen now once you have it maxed out and all of it's done you have used up all your slots you can't add anything else but you can mix and match various types of uh, modifications on this so if you only have 10 percent knockback resistance you'll still have 10 more slots you can add one of the other uh, modifications to it so you can have more than just one type of modification on each piece of piece of armor but it will mean you won't be able to max out the uh, particular effect of, of that. So 15% knockback resistance on one piece of armor is nice. But as I said, the basic armor ha has absolutely no armor value. And I will be getting to that in a moment. Now another modification you can add is diamond. A single diamond block added to an armor piece will give you 45% attack damage which is 45% of whatever weapon you're using now this can be very good if you're using a high damage weapon but if you're using a low damage weapon iron an iron sword or whatever it will just add 45% extra damage for that which in all honesty is not all that much now you can put 45% a block of diamond on each piece of this armor 
and it will stack so you can have 45% on your goggles 45% on your chest piece legs all that and it will stack with each other so with a diamond sword and 45% on each of your armor pieces you will be swinging for 20 damage per swing roughly give or take but it does mean it will eat into all of your modification slots and this one block of diamond takes 27 modifier slots which is a lot of uh, modifier slots and doesn't really leave much room for anything else so you'll be swinging for a lot of damage but you won't be able to survive very many hits so yeah that's something to consider now another modifier is the slime modifier which is one congealed green slime one blue slime and gas tier now you make these blocks out of green slime green slime balls and blue slime balls and what this does is allows you to double jump now you can have this up to four times and what this means is the double jump let me uh, just craft it and you can do this up to three times triple jump and the quadruple jump now that's the maximum you can have on this and it can only be used on the boots and allow me to show you what it does now it doesn't increase your normal jump as you can see but it does allow you to if you keep pressing space increase the number of jumps you have so you can double triple and quadruple jump just like that bop 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 which is very interesting and very nice now another type of damage modifier is the quartz block damage modifier and it one damage per six doing damage per uh, block of quartz so it takes five modifier slots for each block of quartz so you can only have maximum of six per armor piece but this is a basic plus one damage across the board so it's unlike the diamond which is a percentage damage increase this is a pure damage increase whether you're using a sword or just punching something with your fist so this can be a, um, in all honesty is a better alternative than the diamond unless you're using a very good weapon that deals a lot of damage per swing like one of the end game high tier tinker's construct weapons that are already modified and built up and deal incredible amounts of damage this the quartz block upgrade is the better alternative if you want to go for the damage boost now another one is redstone and what redstone does is it increases your movement speed and just like the gold you can use either single dusts which one dust takes up one modifier slot so you can have th up to 30 percent on one piece so you can have let's put this on and there we go it's maxed out now so let's see exactly how fast we move now compared to normal not quite at, uh, one second let me get a quick sleep turn it back to daytime 20% run speed bonus not quite as fast as sprinting but with sprinting on look how fast we are moving <laughs> we are just moving really really fast and that's very nice so having the run speed on and apparently it only goes up to 20 percent a maximum of 20 percent not 30 percent damn I guess that was a waste then so you can only have 20 percent redstone speed boost on uh, one piece of armor which is kind of nice because that means you can have 10 extra modifier slots as you can save for something else okay now another modifier slot is the iron plate 
And what iron plates do is they actually add armor. And it takes uh, each plate, each iron plate takes up three modifier slots. So you can add up to ten plates worth. And what this will do is give you 20% protection. With a full uh, 10 plates on there, it will give you 20% protection. And what that means is it gives you one quarter of your armor. So two and a half armor value, on, as, as you can see down there. Now, that doesn't really sound like a lot, and quite frankly, it is not a lot. So, in order to get the same value as you would armor value as you would out of, say, diamond armor, you would have to put diamond uh, put iron plates on all four pieces and max them all out for a total of 80% re damage reduction. So, each piece maxed out with all iron plates would give you the same protection as diamond armor but it would mean there would be no slots left over for any of the other upgrades. So, yeah, it is pretty much your own personal preference if you want maximum armor or you want a bunch of extra movement speed or damage or all this other stuff. You ha really have to make your own choice. You can't just have massively overprotective armor with the damage boosts and the knockback resistance and all that kind of stuff. You can't, act, you can't have everything. So you really do have to make your choice and you have to choose what you want it to be. Now, the last upgrade is the heart canister upgrade. And the heart canister is crafted using a miniature red heart, a necrotic bone you get off of uh, wither skeletons out of the nether, an empty canister, which you make with some aluminum ingots, and a jeweled apple, which is just four diamonds around an apple. And what this does is, it adds plus two maximum health. And what that means is, it will give you an extra heart, one extra heart worth of health. Now, this uses up six modifier slots, which means you can have up to five on a single piece of armor. And there we go. And what this does is adds 10 extra health. And the way this works, let me eat a golden apple. As you can see, my health is regenerating already. And as you can see, my hearts are turning orange. Or Orange-ish orange -ish gold, which basically means I have that many extra hearts worth of health. So with five, with ten extra health on here, I basically get five extra hearts worth of health, which is very nice. Basically gives me 30 total health. But as I said before, all of these modifications, you have a, to with all four pieces, you have a grand total of 120 modification slots. So you have to pick and choose which modifications you want on here, which, what you prioritize on your armor. If you want maximum protection, you have to go all iron plates, and it'll be the same as diamond armor with its protection. If you want more damage, you have to prioritize damage versus the armor, which means you'll be, have less protection, but you'll have more damage. The same goes with the double jumps and triple jumps and the, the knockback resistance or the extra health. As nice as this armor is, it's not particularly overpowered, say, as some of the armor slot armor pieces you could make with the various other armor mods such as the old nano armor or whatever or the other armor mods that are out there it is customizable it is it does allow you to pick and choose what you want to have on your armor but you really do have to think ahead and choose what you want on there very carefully because 
like I said, you have to have an idea of what you want. If you want protection, you have to go for protection. If you want damage, you have to go for damage. So, yeah, that is the basics of the Exo armor and how it functions. But for now, that's the basics of how to build the Exo armor as well as how to modify it. So, go out, get it, and try it out yourself. Now, and thanks for watching. This has been Bobson. This has been another Minecraft tutorial on how to build, how to modify Exo armor. And until next time, I will see you later. Bye.